this video, I'm going to share with you all the upcoming DC movies. First, Joker, which is set to release on October 4, 2019, directed by Todd Phillips, the director of The Hangover. Joker is technically not part of the DC EU, but is instead a standalone movie set in the 1980s, with Joaquin Phoenix playing the Crown Prince of Crime. In this movie, Bruce Wayne is just a child played by Dante Pereira also. Second, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harry Quinn. This movie is set to release on February 7, 2020. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn will return in Birds of Prey, a team superhero movie with a very long title, directed by Kathy Yan and written by Christina Hodgson. It will also star Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress, Rosie Perez as Detective Rene Montoya, and Johnny Spirit Girl as Black Canary. Ella G. Basco will play the young Cassandra Kane, and Gina McGregor will play Black Mask. Third, Wonder Woman 1984, which is set to release on June 5, 2020. Patty Jenkins returns to direct the sequel based on a script from David Callahan and a story Jenkins co-wrote with George Jones. It takes place in the 1980s during the final days of the Cold War, with Kristen Wiig playing the titular villain Dr. Barbara Minerva, aka Cheetah. Also, Chris Pine returns as Steve Trevor. How? We have no idea. Fourth, The Batman, which is set to release on June 25, 2021. Cloverfield and Planet of the Apes director Matt Reeves ended up replacing Affleck as writer-director The Reeves threw out the story that Affleck and Geoff Jones co-wrote for the movie and started the script from scratch. Reeves is reportedly looking at creating a new Batman trilogy of his own by taking Robert Pattinson as the new Batman. Fifth, The Suicide Squad, which is set to release on August 6, 2021. The first Suicide Squad of David Ayer was an enormous and commercial success, so the studio is planning on releasing a sequel, Suicide Squad 2. After Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn was fired by Marvel Studios, Warner Bros. wasted little time in recruiting him to write and direct Suicide Squad 2. It's possible Margot Robbie will reprise her role as Hardy Quinn in the Suicide Squad. It was recently confirmed that Will Smith won't be appearing as Deadshot due to scheduling conflict. Idris Elba is set to play Deadshot, David Dismarchian is playing Polkadot Man, and John Cena is in talks for an indisclosed role. Sixth, Aquaman 2, which is set to release on December 16, 2022. One of the latest DC movies to be put into development is Aquaman 2, which comes on the heels of James Wan's Aquaman earning more than $1.14 billion at the worldwide box office. Wan will return as a producer, though there is no word on if he's directing the sequel yet. Seventh, The Flash. The Flash solo movie was originally slated to release in March 2018, but it was removed from the schedule following Seth Graham Smith and Rick Famuyiwa's separate departures as directors in 2016. Due to various delays, the movie is not expected to release until at least 2021. Barry Allen actor Ezra Miller reassured fans that the movie is definitely still coming, saying, Nothing is ever certain in this world, but as certain as things get, we're making an effing crazy dope flash movie. Eighth, Green Lantern Corps. Martin Campbell's Green Lantern in 2011 starring Ryan Reynolds was a critical and commercial failure, which is why DC is looking to reboot the film. Mission Impossible Fallout director Christopher McQuarrie was rumored to be Warner Bros's favorite choice to direct, and McQuarrie has said he is open to coming on board for the right story, but no one's officially attached to direct right now. In addition to all the movies on Warner Bros. official DCEU slide, there are at least a dozen other projects in various stages of development, some of which are connected to the DCEU and some that are not. The Lego Batman movie director Chris McKay is directing Nightwing based on a story and a script from Bill Dubuque. However, the film is not planning to release soon as he's recently hired to direct Dungeons and Dragons which is releasing in 2021. There is a Supergirl movie in development from 22 Jump Street writer Ozan Yuzia. Instead of returning to Hell's Suicide Squad 2, David Ayer might be adapting Gotham City Sirens from a script by Ginny Duret, Robertson of Doom Vader and Captain Marvel. Margot Robbie will also reprise her role in Glenn Ficarra and John Brickwell's Harley Quinn and the Joker and an untitled Harley Quinn movie, but there is no guarantee that either project will be given the green light. There is also a long dormant cyborg movie starring Ray Fisher that is supposedly still happening. Warner Bros. secured Dwayne Johnson to play Shazam's villain Black Adam. 
Warner Bros. is reportedly developing Justice League 2 and Man of Steel 2, though those two have basically been put on ice for now. Also, there is a Black Hawk movie that will be produced and possibly directed by Steven Spielberg. Based on the immense success of Aquaman, Warner Bros. has put into development a spin-off called The Trench. In April 2019, following the box office success of Shazam, New Line Cinema hired Shazam writer Henry Gaiden to write the screenplay for a sequel with director David F. Sandberg and producer Peter Safran also expected to return. Warner Bros. is enlisting a female filmmaker to bring Batgirl to the big screen. Most recently, they've hired Christina Hodgson of Bumblebee to write the script. It was announced that acclaimed filmmaker Eva DuVernay of Selma would be making a new Bats movie for DC. It was announced in June 2018 that Jared Leto's Joker is getting his own standalone movie as well, but Leto serving as executive producer. It was it was revealed in December 2018 that Warner Bros. was developing a film centered around the hero Plastic Man. Warner Bros. entered talks with the great filmmaker Gareth Evans to direct a Deathstroke, a standalone movie. For the untitled Lobo movie, Warner Bros. is eyeing Martha Bay to direct it. So those were all the movies of the DC which might come in the future. So which movie are you most excited for? Comment down below and thanks for watching my video.